We understand that TV shows often have minuscule budgets, but this is just unforgivable. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst special effects in TV shows. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at instances of horrible special effects in various television series. We'll be looking at both specific scenes within a TV show and the TV show as a whole, so a spoiler warning is now in effect. Number 10. Pretty much everything. Doctor Who. You know, for such a popular show that airs on a major network, it's mind-boggling how bad Doctor Who can look. While the stories are certainly imaginative, the visual effects often let them down. Viewers looking to start from the Eccleston era have a huge obstacle to overcome, as many of those early episodes look heavily dated today, complete with unconvincing green screens, poor prosthetics, and shoddy visual effects. And while the production values have increased in recent years, they're still grossly overshadowed by more prestigious science fiction. Doctor Who is pulpy entertainment, and its often unconvincing low-budget visual effects reflect that. Number 9. The Transformations and Creatures – Teen Wolf Unlike Doctor Who, which airs on BBC, Teen Wolf's shoddy special effects are somewhat forgiven due to its home on MTV. After all, we aren't expecting an American Werewolf in London-esque transformation sequences from a low-budget MTV show. That said, they still don't look too great considering the show is from the 2010s. The transformations are often awkward and goofy, and the creatures are even worse. Meanwhile, the makeup work can range from good to amateurish, and the CGI can be straight up bad. It comes across okay when the monsters are shrouded in shadows, but when they're on full display, ooh boy. Suffice it to say, you can tell it's an MTV production. Number 8. The CGI and Magic – The Librarians The key to any great fantasy series are its special effects. We need convincing visuals to transport us to these worlds and convince us of their inner workings. Unfortunately, the special effects on The Librarians are often quite bad. The show itself is harmless fun, but it falls into ridiculous territory when the horrible CGI graces the screen. Its creatures could also use some work, as seen when the very very unconvincing CGI wolf terrorized the town. To its credit, the series knows how low-budget and cheesy it is, but that doesn't make its eyesore visuals any more appealing. That is a really big wolf. Number 7. The Chestburster – Star Trek The Next Generation Coming. Here's a general rule all TV shows and movies should follow. Never do a chestburster scene. Viewers will always compare it to Alien, and it will always be inferior. We seek peaceful coexistence. The Next Generation tackled a horror plot in the first season episode, Conspiracy, to mixed results. In the scene in question, Picard and Riker release a giant parasite from Remick's stomach. The parasite is admittedly pretty gross, but it looks like a cheap puppet, and its subsequent disintegration reeks of cheesy 80s effects. We would give it a pass if not for the fact that Alien did it much better almost 10 years earlier. Number 6. The Submarine Lost. Lost is one of the most imaginative shows to ever air on network television, and its visual effects and production values were always top notch. But no matter how big a Lost defender you may be, there's simply no forgiving or forgetting the submarine of season 5's Follow the Leader. Lost didn't often resort to CGI for its visual effects, so it makes this N64 looking submarine stand out that much more. The dramatic music makes things worse, as it gives the scene a sort of surreal, satiric tone which greatly contrasts with the otherwise serious events playing out on screen. Number 5. The Dinosaurs – Terra Nova what the hell is that? Terra Nova would either live or die on its special effects. Unfortunately, it was the latter. The sci-fi series showed terrific promise, it was executive produced by Steven Spielberg, and it had an exorbitant budget of $4 million per episode. And while Spielberg may have revolutionized special effects with Jurassic Park, the dinosaurs in Terra Nova were a joke by comparison. For a show that revolved around its dinosaurs, the creatures often looked way too computerized, leading to some negative critical reception and little attention from the general public. The show was cancelled after just 13 episodes. We're not saying that the poor effects caused its premature cancellation, but they certainly couldn't have helped. Number 4. The Creatures 
Merlin. Camelot's end is nigh, and there's nothing you can do about it. Like most fantasy shows on TV, Merlin wasn't much of a looker. Hey, not every channel can dump tens of millions of dollars into its show like HBO can. Merlin was a BBC One production that served as a reimagining of sorts of the classic Arthurian legends. Unfortunately, the special effects often proved to be a liability. Nearly every creature on the show was some sort of artificial CGI creation, with laughable green screen work and the action that's often shot in a cramped, unclear manner to mask its very obvious low budget. Merlin may not have been such a bad show, but it certainly didn't get renewed to five seasons based on its special effects. What happened? Number three, The Dragon, Once Upon a Time. Guess I should just cut to the chase. Once Upon a Time is a fun show, but its special effects are admittedly not always up to standard. But we can roll with that. It's part of its charm. However, there's simply no excusing the laughable scene in which Lily transforms into a dragon. It all starts with Lily's very generic yellow eyes, and it only goes downhill from there. We can't help but snicker when she's in full dragon form, as it looks more like something a 10-year-old would put together on a laptop for a school project. It doesn't help that the scene contains epic music like we're supposed to be in awe of this magnificent dragon rather than laughing our heads off. Lily? Number two, the boat scene, Ringer. This reminds me of Tahoe. It's scenes like this that make us question what goes on in the minds of producers and special effects artists. Surely, this was a significant matter of budget or time, because we have no idea how this would make it to the air otherwise. This scene from the CW crime thriller contains what is arguably one of the worst uses of green screen ever. The lighting doesn't match and the background is generic and cheap, both of which make the fake bouncing and wind all the more obvious. It looks like something you would find on cheap daytime TV commercials, not a show starring Sarah Michelle Gellar on a major network. And this was the pilot! Talk about a bad first impression. Javon! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. I wanted to know you were touching something I touched, that we were connected. There's a ghost. Peter. Number one, everything. Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. Cupid, can we at least talk about this? Hercules, The Legendary Journeys is certainly legendary, all right. This show encapsulates everything that was both awful and glorious about cheap 90s TV, as its acting is very cheesy and its effects are considered some of the worst in television history. And yes, that includes shows from the 50s and 60s. The show tried everything, and it sucked at them all, including pathetic green screens, wretched and cheap CGI creatures, and various poorly implemented camera tricks, like forced perspective. Intentionally cheesy or not, there's no watching Hercules The Legendary Journeys without shaking your head in bemusement. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.